This video will cover how to calibrate and use the new version of the Oakton PH30 tester, which has three vertical buttons on the front of the meter. If you're using the old meter with the buttons that form a triangle, use the video labeled Older Meter on the River Trends resource page. So the process is the same as the older meter, but the buttons are slightly different. You will need your pH meter, your pillow packets that bracket your normal reading mixed into 50 milliliters of room temperature water, and a cup of water or your squeeze bottle to rinse off your probe. If you haven't used your meter in a few months or the bulb appears cloudy or dry, Soak your pH meter in buffer 4 solution for about 30 minutes to rehydrate it before use. So today we are using buffer 4 and buffer 7 to calibrate. 4 is in red and 7 is in yellow. Make sure that you use the solutions that bracket your normal reading when you calibrate. We will be using the long press and the short press on the buttons today. A short press is a quick 1 second press and a long press is holding the button down for about two seconds. So short press the power button to turn on your meter. You can short press this button again at any time to turn on the blue backlight on your screen if it helps you see. Always start with your buffer seven solution. Place your meter into the yellow cup and wait for the stabilization icon, which is the small smiley face to appear. Once it appears, record your temperature, which is the bottom number on your data sheet. The top number is what your meter is currently reading. This will most likely be very close to 7, but not exact. Long press CAL, which is the bottom button, until your screen flashes CAL in green and allow the stabilization icon to return. The bottom number should now read 7 when the meter recognizes which solution it is in. Short press CAL to enter this as your calibration. Record the number that flashes on your screen after you press CAL. The meter will now return into measurement mode. Take out your meter, rinse it thoroughly with water, and repeat this process in your next calibration solution. Place your meter into buffer 4 solution long press CAL to enter calibration mode and wait for the stabilization icon to appear. Short press CAL to save your calibration. Record the number that flashes on your data sheet. If you used buffer 4 and 7 solution, you will see an L and M icon for low and middle in the lower left corner of your screen. If you use 7 and 10, you will see an M and H for middle and high. Turn off your probe by long pressing the power button, then rinse with water and replace the cap to take it into the field. When you are in the field, short press the power button to turn it on. Place your probe into the sample water and wait a few minutes for the stabilization icon to appear. Record the number on the top of your screen as your pH reading on your data sheet. When you return from the field, we want to ensure that no probe drift has occurred. So we'll check this by taking measurements of our calibration solutions. Turn on your meter and place it into buffer 7 solution. We are not entering calibrations here, just taking a reading. Allow the stabilization icon to appear, then record your temperature and pH reading on your data sheet. This number must be within two tenths of your standard solution, so with buffer 7 this needs to be between 6.8 and 7.2. If your reading is outside of this range, contact your coordinator for help resolving the issue. Repeat this exact same process for your second calibration solution. If your pH field reading was not within the calibration values that you used, perform a post-sample check with all three buffer solutions. Store your meter using either electrode storage solution if it's part of your monitoring kit, or pour a small amount of buffer 4 solution onto a small piece of paper towel to be stored at the bottom of your cap. 